Shalom Chabrim. <clears throat> I wanted to kind of let you guys know some very serious information that has just come to my attention. Uh, some brother or sister one has sent us a video about the Canary Islands and that they're being evacuated even as of today. Now the video doesn't speak of them being evacuated today. We've just looked it up. Uh, there is a tremendous concern of the government with, uh, there's been over, uh, I think, 105 tremors in the last 24 hours in the Canary Islands. Uh, the volcano there, the magna, is beginning to rise in this uh, volcano, and so there is a lot of concern with the government that it could erupt at any time. Now, <clears throat> I hear that every 300 years this, uh, this volcano erupts. What they're concerned about is that it could cause a landslide um, that would effectively create a tsunami. And, uh, of course, they're looking at a mega tsunami, depending on the size of the landmass that were to break off and would head towards the, uh, towards the west, which would hit the east coast of the United States. Uh, a lot of other places would be affected, uh, but they're looking at the entire east coast of the United States. If it is big as what they say it could be, they're talking about a 300-foot tsunami. Uh, by the time it were to reach the East Coast, that would be catastrophic, especially for South Florida. Uh, New, places like New York as well would be very devastating. Uh, North Carolina coastlines, South Carolina, uh, all up and down the East Coast as well as in Braz uh, what is that? Brazil. Places like that as well would also, coastline areas would become very dangerous. Uh, once this were to break off, and if it does happen in this way, I say if because we don't know for sure this is what's going to happen, but the government is actually making preparations here. Emergency um, uh, crews are doing things, but it's not being made public here. Um, I need to do a little bit more research on it. If you can do it for us as well, it would be greatly appreciated. <clears throat> Something I do want to do, though, uh, especially since we're still here in South Florida, we have not left as of yet. We're looking at leaving soon. Uh, not because of this, but because of the leading of the Lord and which way we should go. But I wanted to ask you, uh, those of you that are in different parts of the world where when it's nighttime here, you're awake there, such as Australia, New Zealand, um, different parts of the world there. If you can and you have the ability to do so, uh, send, uh, send me an email tonight and we will send you our phone number if in the event that um, we do have an emergency, you do hear in the news broadcast where you live at that there has been an eruption. It has created a, a, a tsunami. It gives us eight hours in which to get out of South Florida. Uh, we can get to the uh, north of Tampa. Ocala would probably be safe enough uh, if we got there. So that's a good thing. It's only a few hours away from here. Um, but anyway... So just send us an email. We just want to use that as a precautionary measure. And uh, certainly we know that God will lead our steps in every which way we go. We're not <clears throat> fearful of this. We're just wanting to make precautions. Uh, we'd like to make, make better plans before we leave here. But, you know, whatever the will of, of the Lord is, uh, God, let that be so. If you live in any of these areas as well, uh, I just encourage you to do some more research yourself. Be vigilant. Uh, keep up with any kind of news you can. Anything that we hear, we will let you know as well, especially if you're on the East Coast of the United States or any of the other countries uh, that could be affected. Um, and as soon as I find out, I'll get that video information and try to get it posted up for you as well uh, on our website, IsraelReturns.com, our Facebook page, uh, Stephen Denoon, and uh, so that we can get that information out to you. God bless you, and good night. Shabbat Shalom.